uh, is um, uh, very uh, depressed, irritating, anxiety, personality disorder, all those things are happening. So now, this patient, if you look at the blood test, they will have hormonal imbalance of those female hormone imbalances. Then testosterone level is high. They have they are usually obese, overweight, and their blood sugar level is in the upper level, or they may develop diabetes mellitus, and their um, uh, cholesterol level is high, and they have high blood pressure. Okay, so all those things you can figure it out with that. An ovulatory ovulation there is no ovulation in fertility so that patient will be diagnosed as polycystic ovarian syndrome when multiple symptoms together are present or polycystic ovarian disease okay so now they are always bilateral and ovaries are palpable and may have pain because of the pressure and the sonographic characteristics you will see both ovaries are enlarged with multiple follicles and the echogenicity of the um, ovary varies and mostly in, in the middle medullary part are brighter but in the cortical part along with the tunica albuginia they have multiple follicles okay and the peripheral cyst these are small small look like a cyst and they are uniform size okay so now sonographically how does it look like I will draw the sonographic picture okay so here this is the level of estrogen and this is progesterone okay I will clean this part okay You are scanning, you are scanning to see the success view of the, you are looking for the ovary, right? So then you will see, you will see this, this is the ovary like that and you will see the follicles around it okay and in transverse view in transverse you will see big ovary okay this is transverse and this is sas view in sagittal Okay. Okay, I just draw in one side, but this would be the same way. And you can see in transverse the two big ovary, both of them at the same time. That would be like this. In transverse, you will see the uterus is here, and 
and you might see the both ovaries and this is uterus this is left ovary and this is right ovary it could be that the follicles are so many it also can occupy you will see in the medullary part the follicles are there Okay, so you will be surprised that oh my god, the whole ovary is taken by the follicle, but none of them are graphene follicle. Like that. None of them are graphene follicle. It's of same size. Okay, so this is easy to diagnose sonographically the enlarged uh, polycystic ovary, but you have to correlate with the patient's history and the blood report. Then diagnosis is done. Okay, so that's all for the polycystic uh, ovarian diseases. Let me go over the solid masses in the ovary. Okay, that was the number three. Benign solid masses. Benign solid masses. Let me write down. Uh, in the first, we're going to discuss about the fibroma. Fibroma, this is the ovarian counterpart to the uterine fibroid. This is the ovarian counterpart to the uterine fibroid. That means in the uterus there's a fibroid and the same composition tumor. You see in the ovary we call it fibroma. It is composed of fibrous and muscular tissue it accounts for say approximately 10% of the ovarian neoplasm ten percent of ovarian neoplasms the sonographic appearance is similar to 
the sono appearance is similar to the uterine fibroid then what are the characteristics sono appearance uh, of the fibroid so it is round or oval with a definite capsule around it homogeneous it could be heterogeneous but hypoechoic it may have a layering effect sometimes posterior shadow there is a calcification followed by posterior shadow there might be some cystic degeneration they are followed by enhancement okay so and increased vascularity when they are active so same thing you can see in the ovary and this solid mass fibroma is usually found in the medullary part because the medullary part is composed of fibrous and muscular tissue okay it is in the medullary part okay so no appearance similar to the fibroid this tumor demonstrate a smooth regular border smooth regular borders and it has a homogeneous echogenicity homogeneous hypoechoic when compared to the normal tissue okay so now sono appearance how does it look like say you get a ovary and you found that the follicles are there and you might see a homogeneous medium level echo mass solid mass in the medullary part of the ovary then what you have to do now you have to measure the ovary you have to measure the mass okay so this is ovary and this is fibroma okay and this is follicle Okay, so that's the way you can see and you can uh, diagnose the cases. Okay, so now I will go over another one that's called Brenner's tumor. Brenner's tumor. Okay. This is a rare tumor.
tumor made of fibrous and epithelial. This is rare tumor made of fibrous and epithelial. The fibroma was fibrous and muscle but Brenner's tumor is made of fibrous and epithelial tissue okay uh, epithelial tissue this fibrous tissue causes a spider web pattern within the mass. Okay, so now if the sono image is like that, you got an ovary, there's a mass, okay, like a spider wave pattern. Okay, so this is ovary, so this is um, spider web pattern and this is Brenner's tumor. Okay, so this is ovary. Okay, so uh, the next is primary malignant ovarian neoplasm. So that I will uh, do in the next time. And let me finish here. And I hope you understood this one okay this is very very important it is more common in the society and you can easily diagnose this polycystic ovarian diseases or syndrome because it correlates with the blood work correlates with the patient's history physical findings and ultrasonographic modalities so ultrasound is the best modalities for the GYN evaluation okay so that's all for today okay thank you very much for paying attention have a good time bye